there. Okay. Same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry, we have two DNFs and <laughs> two <Yeah. laughs> Hello. Very polarizing. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. Yeah. That's okay. At least two of us finished it. <laughs> we got something to talk about. Oh, mine is back there somewhere. I was listening to the audiobook, so. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Which I already gave back to the library. It said one person was waiting, and I was like, "God, <laughs> good luck with that one." <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I um, I don't think I would have finished it had I not listened to the audiobook. Yeah, like I don't think I would. Same for sure. Same. I think the audiobook saved me on this because I yeah. I just finished it like this morning. Oh wow. <laughs> I had like, it was hard. It was really hard. I was left or something. So I finished it really quick this morning. But I was just it's because I was just not that interested in uh -huh. Yeah, I actually so I was not I knew, I'm this far. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to wait until the last minute. You know, I'm going to read. And I think it was like the first or second book that I read for the month. And I just got it out of the way. Yeah. And I think it actually got me into a reading slump because I forced myself through the book. Yeah. Mm, that sucks. I hate when that happens. Yeah. yeah. It's always the worst. Yeah. That's why I DNF'd it because I did not want to ruin the end of my year. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the right decision. How long is it? So like, this year. So when I found out it would be a book club pick, I was excited. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's clearly a loved, like a well-loved book. I can't. It really is. Um, my husband couldn't believe that I DNF'd it. He was like, How far did you get? And I'm like, like 20%. <laughs> Didn't you say he read it before? Yeah, he read it a few years ago. Just he randomly picked it up at our library. Um, mm -hmm. it looked like something he'd be into. And uh he really liked it. And so I was familiar with the title when you mentioned it. And I was like, yeah, sure. I mean, Scott says he likes it, but he likes very weird stuff, which I mean, <laughs> it's not, but like not always the same kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Which is fun. That's what's fun about this book club is like, I feel like we read weird, like it's just strange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and there's no other, like it can be any genre. Mm -hmm. It's just strange stuff. And so we're going to find out like what kind of weird stuff we like and what we don't. Yeah. You know, yeah. For, like me who doesn't read probably as much weird stuff as you guys do. Like I'm finding like what I dig and what I don't. Right. Yeah. I feel so. like, I, like I like how the, like each month the book always like leads me to question, do I actually like weird books? Yeah. <laughs> or do I want to, do I want to like it? Yeah. yeah. Like, do I, like I just want to be book? unique? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Then you, you have a weird book that you love and you're like, yeah. I clearly love weird books, but mm -hmm. they're not all made the same. No, no. Mm -mm. there have been aspects of now I did DNF Hollow Kingdom and I didn't come on the live show for that. But honestly, I DNF Hollow Kingdom because I was having trouble with the animal stuff, not yeah. because I wasn't enjoying the book, but because I was yeah. not like I'm just so sensitive to stuff like that. Me too. Me too. Yeah, so you would have probably what, had some issues with this later on, too. Yeah. yeah, like I was, I got probably 30% in and I was like, I like this story. I think it's funny the way it's written, but all, you know, I can see it being really poignant, but it was just, I was already getting kind of upset at the animal stuff. And I was like, right. I don't know. So like, aside from that, I feel like every book I've liked something about it. Even if I don't like none of them, I was like, oh, I hate this book. Yeah. I don't even hate this book. I just, it wasn't engaging enough for me to keep going with it. Right. Um, yeah. That's, that's different than like reading something and like one starring it. Mm -hmm. If you so, got, if, uh, well, how far did you get Amy exactly? How far did you say you got? Uh, somewhere between 15 and 20%. Okay. So, I, mean, um, I don't remember what was happening story wise. Cause I don't know what I was reading. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll get to it later. Uh, <laughs> you could be I'll like, probably, oh, that's what I stopped. Also, probably eighty or a hundred pages in. Right. I don't know. I don't know how many. Pages still, you, it was about a hundred pages or so for you, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was like I think I was one ten or something like that, and I was just like. I just put it down. I kept falling asleep. Like I really kept falling asleep and I was just uninterested. And it's sad because I love the cover of the book. It's You're beautiful. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and I, I that. I've been putting it off for so long that I just like, mm -hmm. I wanted to read, I was finally reading it and I wasn't happy yeah. with it. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Marcy. So we're the two that finished the book. Yes, I ma'am. <laughs> so do you want to go first and tell us what you're rating and just like your general thoughts let's do it we'll do introductions i don't know i feel like at this point do we need to do introductions still like every time or i don't think so i don't know i mean our I names are all right here. Everyone's really linked. Linked. yeah everyone's linked in the description so if you want to yeah. check out their channels yeah, yeah. On your own time. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I'm like, at this point, yeah, I feel like we're doing your time. Doing that yeah. every time. Yeah. Go ahead, Marcy. What do you do? Uh... I have not rated it yet. I don't know mm -hmm. what I want to rate it, if I want to rate it. Um, I didn't like it. I was confused a lot of the times. And I was telling Rain that I felt like there were little parts that I was like, oh, okay, okay, it's going to get good. And then it would just drop the ball. It was a little bit underwhelming. It was a little bit bland. Um, and I don't know. I I, I I still don't know what I'm going to rate it, if I'm going to rate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah I feel like you're the queen of not rating things, and I love that. <laughs> you're the queen of coming to the live show and being like, I don't know. I don't have a rating yet. And then by the end of the live show, you're like, I do. Yeah. I love yeah. that about you. Yes. I mean, hey, that's what the live is for. So we could talk about it and then really solidify what we process feel. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You get other opinions in there and then you're like, oh, because like mm -hmm. it was just kind of the same. Um, I recently did like a Kill Creek live show for like, uh, Kill Creek by Scott Thomas with um, uh, I did it with like Deja and Savannah and McKay and uh, I like I think I was going to give it a four and then by the end of it I was like I think it's a 3.5 like I didn't <laughs> like that like, after like actually talking about the story and then yeah. like, you know what I actually what happened to this whole part and then it just like kind of it kind of picked me off but then, well, like, when, we read, <laughs> when we read I'm thinking of ending things some of us ended up liking it even more. Yep. We were like, it's up a rating. more layered than I initially thought. And it made us like it more by discussing it. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you just have a lot. time with a book. I'm sure we all do that where like you have a book that you gave maybe three or four stars. And then months later, you're, you catch yourself thinking about it. And you're like, that may have been a star higher than yep. right. I yeah. thought because... I read so many books. We all read so many books. And for something to keep staying with me and for me to keep remembering things from it, I feel like yeah. it's pretty, it has, if it has staying power, yeah. I feel like that's pretty it's pretty powerful. Something. Oh yeah. 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 A lot of books just get kind of, eventually they just sort of wash away, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah. I yeah. like that. Or, oh, I didn't, but exactly. yeah. Uh, so I feel like a lot of other people DNF'd it too. Like Amanda said, she DNF'd it. Oh, uh, there's another one. I'm happy to know I'm not the only one who couldn't get through it. Yeah. Carol, did you finish it? I can't remember if she finished it or not. Oh. I don't think she did. You do feel like you're just DNF'd it too. directly in. Carol said she needed more up front and I agree. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Definitely... I, I forgot to go back because after I finish the book, I like to go back and read the synopsis. And sometimes that ties things in for me. I haven't done that with yeah. that book. I guess I was just like whatever and I put it away. But I feel like if what I can remember, I remember watching Riley Marie's video a long time ago. I know she read this book mm -hmm. and she loved it. And I feel like the way that it's explained or it's talked about or summarized is not what we got it was completely yeah. different than what it how it's explained mm -hmm. okay. i feel like too it's it's hard to explain a lot of people like a lot of the reviews that i saw people were like i really don't know 
how to tell you what this book is about. Like, right. Yeah. You're, kinda, you're you're thrown into it, and then you just gotta figure it out. <laughs> and then it's just, yeah. Yeah. There's really. I saw no I saw a review that someone said it was incredible, it. like world building and all this stuff, and I just didn't get that. Like usually within the first mm -hmm. hundred pages, you start getting like a world being built, but I just feel like there was half the book missing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I felt like I was yeah. missing something because the conversation, the banter, like I just didn't get it. I just didn't yeah. get it. I feel like we were thrown in at like chapter eight and it was like, yeah, what? yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm supposed to, there's absolutely. And the thing is, is that I don't mind being confused. Right. While reading mm -hmm. a book. I don't mind yeah. not exactly knowing what's going on. I need to feel intrigued to know where it's going. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to keep going with, I can't be right. so confused that it's just not an enjoyable experience. Right. Like, yeah. Right. So and, you just, once you get to the point of just not caring anymore. Right. Every like, time I would up, would be like, oh, like, and I would, and I was laying in bed listening with no other distractions. Mm -hmm. And I still was like, what am I reading? Like I wouldn't let myself get on my phone. Yeah. Watch, nothing. I was just laying in bed, listening to the audio book. Trying to process. <laughs> like, or in the car by myself. Yeah. With the audio book. And I still was just like, I need a little bit of just yeah. What are words? <laughs> yeah. well, the weirdest part I thought it's not it's not a spoiler or anything. But what was the girl that they kept bringing back? The brother kept bringing back, but they weren't my and they they were together almost. I forgot her name. Margaret. Something like, Margaret. Like, looking, oh, yeah. Look at her. Yeah. <laughs> she was, I was like, what is this? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that one, yeah, that's like, I mean, that's pretty, like, we meet her pretty early on in the book in the first few chapters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's she dead. Her head. <laughs> Isn't she killed? Yeah. Her? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I like, she yeah. loves it. <laughs> <laughs> but then also, I kind of like that aspect of it. I was like, oh, cool, this is going to get, like, yeah and stuff yeah. and then she it, she kind of doesn't really pop up until like later she doesn't on. and then it becomes yeah. uh and then it becomes a government-based book and you're like wait what what wait <laughs> what's going on are we, are we watching another movie here or what are we doing <laughs> it's a lot of yeah i oh, like that part holly. too like i thought that was cool holly said she wants to hi, say holly. hi holly hi <laughs> yeah i um well, we'll get into spoilers here pretty soon. Um, I'll just go ahead and just say outright, I'm probably giving this like a 2 or 2.5. I'm teetering on those two. It'll probably end up being a 2. But the more I do, like, I have watched a lot of reviews on it. And I've read a lot of reviews on it today. And I was like, I can see why people like it. It's not bad the way that it's structured, the way that each of these characters are so unique. I just, it didn't do anything for me personally like I can see why other people enjoyed it and like it's just it's for a specific group of people and I don't think I'm like that group of people <laughs> I just like didn't do it for me but I don't know uh, let us know too in the chat what you guys rated it because I didn't really see any ratings or anything but I think it's mostly DNF so like it's cool too I mean I know a lot of you didn't want to read it <laughs> it's fine um where are we at <laughs> seems like we aren't supposed to really understand much because there's a part in the book where Steve is asking what the heck is going on. And the only answer he gets is you'll find out soon, but he did not. So we did not. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of how the whole book felt yeah. like it felt yeah. like you were going to find out like soon. We're on the verge. Reading it, but then like nothing. I don't know. I don't know. Didn't find out. Yeah, yeah, I found out some things, but I'm like, I don't know if I fully understand it. I feel really dumb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we can get into spoiler stuff now and go get a little bit further into the characters and stuff since we were talking about Margaret a little bit. <laughs> yeah, y'all tell me what happened because it was very interesting. Definitely. I feel like when I stopped. Margaret was dead. And I'm trying to think of what else was going on. She had gone back and like 
killed the detective and then the guy she was with died and she seemed upset about that and then she said it was like not the first time she'd killed the detective oh after that when they met at the bar and she gets steve to come with her the first time to the house of the Uh robbery Uh yeah yeah and then steve gets killed and she's upset about it and then she goes back they can't find father Oh gosh, father! One like douchebag guy, <laughs> like running the show. I can't remember any of their names. None of them. Yeah. Um, well, Carolyn is the, the one that right. left off. We're just like shoved into the story, and Carolyn, she's the main character. Okay. She's on some sort of mission. She's oh, got her own plan. You have no oh. idea throughout the whole thing. I mean, you don't really even find out what her major plan is until the very end. So you're just. Like, what is she doing? Why is she doing this? Like, the whole time. And then you meet these other people. And then you find out, basically, they were all, like, 12-year-old kid, Like, 12 years old. They lived in, like, I don't know, the same distance within each other or something. Because all their parents, like, died with from some, like, massive explosion. And then the father takes them in. And he takes them to what he calls the library. And he says, like... Hey, you each have your own category. You have to study this and that is your thing. And you can't study anything else. And like, so hers was languages, which I thought was really cool. Mm-hmm. And they all just had their own individual like category. Like, they all they them as a God, but you just don't really, there's not m- more information about him, but you know that he's like, she does say that he's not human. Yeah. So he's like some otherworldly being or something. Mm-hmm. Like a god or something, mm-hmm. and that's what I pretty much understood of it. Like that's, that's uh-huh. it. like he takes them and then he kind of like raises them up into like be um, masters of their category. So in a like, very dick way. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. He like abuses them, and he well, one of the girls, her category is like resurrecting the dead. Uh-huh. So. Or, like, she can also heal, I don't know what her category would be called, I guess, death or something. I don't know. That's Jennifer. That's the one that brought Margaret back to life. The The one that talks like this. (laughs) (laughs) Was Was Jennifer the one? So I'm remembering now that I got to the part where they had gone to that old lady's house and were staying at her house. And... Was Jennifer the one who was able to like tell that the old lady had like a what did she call like a it? Star, like a bad memory or something? Yeah, something or about, about, like, like about her son. Was that Jennifer? Yes. Okay. Okay, I thought it was. Okay, that was Jennifer. Oh, and now that I'm thinking about it, that, makes sense because Carol kind of got it all weird at that point, and it's like, oh yeah, because of Steve. Oh, I get it. <laughs> what's, the, what's the deal with Steve? <laughs> so, I he mean, was one of the guys the house. there was like it was Carolyn, Jennifer, David. Yeah, and then so, another guy, Carolyn. Her her thing is language, so okay. she's typically the one that interacts with humans because she knows like all languages, how to speak all languages or whatever, and they only speak this weird language that only they speak. Which so they were all 12 better. and none of them remember their first language? No. So I don't understand that either. I don't know. Also, they kept saying like I America. The weird about, huh? They kept saying like going to America, like in Americans, like when they were Amer- Is it in America? <laughs> they just re- In America, but they when they say Americans, they mean humans. Okay. I think maybe, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just making this up, but I could have sworn I read a part where they couldn't really remember much about when they were young, but at, yeah, towards yeah. the end, she starts getting glimpses of her parents because she forgot, you know, they all, so I think he might have maybe like erased their memories somehow. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think, sense. yeah, that must have been it. I could be completely wrong. A lot wrong. of them don't, they all only speak that language. She's the only one that can speak yeah. any other, like, language. Yeah. Like, known language. The the one, yeah. the language they speak, nobody knows how to speak it. So, like, there's Michael, who's, like, 
essentially like he deals with animals and all that. So he's oh, yeah. like, he's kind of like the, I don't know what is it called? Like the, what is that old? <laughs> I'm just thinking of that old stupid TV like, show, Dr. like Hulu? master or something where he's just like, master. yeah, he's just like a dude, like a, you know, just like a strong dude, that essentially mostly wears nothing. Like he's mostly naked all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have David and he's just like this other muscly dude, but his category is war. So he's yeah. just, you know, when it comes to like fighting and battle, but there, which is also gross. Like he has like a helmet that's like made out of dried blood. Like he takes the blood from his enemies and puts it on his head. So it's essentially just like crusted up into a helmet. <laughs> Was taking showers not part of their classes? <laughs> no, apparently not. It's so weird. He was just using it's a lot so of dry weird. shampoo. He was just going from here it's now. So he weird. It's like the shampoo. Yeah, and because they're like don't know the ways of like the world because they haven't really gone out into the world. <laughs> Like yeah. he wears a tutu around because he thinks that's like you know like a loincloth. You know he thinks it's like a moon <laughs> thing. <laughs> I feel like I would have bought this more if they didn't like abducted when they were like five. But like, Aww. and I guess if he like does something to them and they don't remember, because I'm thinking I would remember a lot from I remember a lot before I was twelve. Oh, me too. But, but I guess if he's like giving them something that makes sense. Right. And I'm wondering because, you know, they say that every time that one of them was revived, it would take something from them, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh. So maybe a memory or something like that. Yeah. Hmm. But what, what's up with the tigers? Like, did we really need, or not, not tigers, ugh, the, the lions. dogs? Lions, dogs, what were they? Oh, gosh. Okay, there were the two lions. There was a <laughs> tiger in the one scene. Wasn't there? Yeah, at the very end, there's a tiger. But okay. The yeah. <clears throat> and it's, it's they come. Oh, no, the tiger, yeah, the tiger is. But the tiger was in the beginning, too, because he was, like, one yeah. of the gods or something. And then he, like, died. He's, like, a god. And, and then they're all set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When they go, that protected area, that protected community that they can't go past because of all the dogs. Did we really need all these dogs dying? No. No, no, that's why I, 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 huh? I just skipped it on my audiobook. <laughs> I just like, just why are we doing this? Why are there dogs attacking? Why are we making dogs bad? And why are lions protecting and killing dogs? I don't like that. <laughs> I, I don't did think not a really that. bad acid trip. I don't think any of yeah. that had to be in there. <laughs> At that part, I was just like, I don't get this. And then poor Steve is stuck house with the with the with the undead <laughs> it's like a whole bunch of things thrown into one it's, it's like boring, yes. it's just like a vomit of yeah. like the genre yeah it's like that's Scott what it was like everything in my brain let's put it down yeah let's make a story out of it just all the things in my brain <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm like what the hell? Is there anyone in the comments who finished it and liked it a lot because I mean it has a lot of positive reviews. <clears throat> I think we're the only ones that really yeah, hear it. Um oh this is um would, the Father God thing is commentary on the Bible and how God treats his which I've seen that a lot. Yeah. And I haven't seen anything from the author yet to like know whether that right here. I actually like the book and would read it again, but I can't say I understand much of it. I tabbed a lot but um didn't work. <laughs> Yeah, I feel <laughs> what the <laughs> F is this book? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's so funny because there are so many people who love it. Like all these reviews that I've been watching and mm -hmm. reading, I'm just like, what? Like, are we reading what? the same book? What's happening? It's wild. It is wild. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I did like Steve. I did like Steve. I loved Steve. I loved him. I he only, yeah. I saw a lot of comments about the way that the characters are written. And I like that they are so different from each other. And like they have their own voices. But I didn't yeah. feel a deep connection to any of them. While I like Steve, 
I didn't really care what happened to him. Like if he lived or died, it wasn't going to matter to me. Right. I, wouldn't have tore, I wouldn't have been tore up about it. Right. Even though he, you know, he's the only character I actually really liked him and the tiger. Right. Yeah. I feel like Steve is us, <laughs> but instead of reading the book, he's like in the book, but he's just like, what is going on here? Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. Even from the little bit that I read. He's the human and he's just the one that's like, mm -hmm. What the hell's going on? I have. No I feel idea. like he's looking back on the pages at us, like I don't know, and I'm in the story, so figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know, and I'm here, so there's no chance you're gonna figure it out. Yeah, it's just. It I does seem know. like the type of book you would need to read a couple times to really. Yeah, fully you know, understand it. Or if you're reading it really slowly and like analyzing it, maybe. Mm hmm. Yeah, the, the crucifixion scene. So, like, there is a rape scene in the book that involves David and Carolyn. Because you can see that, um, so the father, he's very violent in the way that he um, disciplines them. Uh -huh. So, as you know, they have somebody who can resurrect them. He will put them in this, like, giant bowl and like throw them in there and then ascend, like they just like light up the bottom and just like burn them alive and then bring them back. Or, you know, like they, he does that, you know, oftentimes he'll torture them. He'll kill them with an ax. Like he'll do things that torture. And then Dave, David, you know, ends up just like attacking and raping Carolyn in a scene and then he, yeah, he nails her to like a cross or something. And like, that's never fully explained why he does that. It's just known that he's very violent in the way that he like. He's like his father. Yeah. 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 I it's, sort of, at that point, I think we're getting to the, to the point which I think she r resurrects after that happens. Am I correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she's trying to explain how, you know, it happened. She's trying to explain to somebody. But I was so lost in that part that I did, never saw the crucifixion. I never saw, like, I just knew she died and because of David. But I didn't know the specifics of it because I probably, I don't know, daydreamed at that oh, part. Or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it said that he was like, resurrected or did she stuff. What were you saying? Was she resurrected? Yeah, yeah, after that, because he had also killed her. Yeah, and that see, that was just brutal, the whole thing. I just I don't I still don't understand. I mean, I guess it's just a way of showing that like he's a product of his environment. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, damn, that was yeah, really, it was messed up. Yeah. All the whole like the whole bull thing too. I'm just like I don't. Yeah, and I think that one where he sends David in there, if I'm not mistaken, to get burned. And <clears throat> David is thinking that he's not going to send him in because he thinks he's like the favorite or the best out of all of them. But he ends up sending him in and he's all shocked. And then they resurrect him after that. I don't know. It's like he uses the zoo. Does he use it as like a punishment? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he doesn't, he tells them, don't learn outside of your category. And, right. and they're not allowed to talk to each other about yeah. their, what mm -hmm. they were. And he had done something outside of his category. Okay. Caused him to be disciplined. So it does say father does tell David that Carolyn must fear him. I do remember that part. I just didn't put it all together because I was like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think like it would have been cool to like just have the book <clears throat> for me personal, <clears throat> if it would have just focused a lot more on the library itself and the different categories and the different characters, that would have been a really cool concept. But like the whole them dealing with the outside world with the humans and the battle between the two, it was just like, I didn't really care. Like I just didn't end up caring at all about the stuff. I ended up just kind of zoning out during the audiobook for most of that because I was like not yeah I think the whole that whole library thing was pretty interesting and I would have liked to see more of the dad 
and the kid, the kids, mm -hmm. uh, their dynamic and how they learn. And I believe it or not, I would have loved to see more of the punishment. You know, it's an unlikable character. Right. And, and I would have loved to see that world instead of trying to bring in all these other aspects of government and uh, b protection and dogs and undead people. <laughs> and I think it was just <laughs> the dogs. I keep on with the dogs. <laughs> but yeah i feel like if it would have been just their story a little bit more of when they from the minute they walked in mm -hmm. and they're growing up it would have been a much yeah. better book but i'm not right. a writer I I just, even if the book had been longer and explained all of this you're fitting all like this world building in such a short book i mean it's 400 pages or what is it like 350 360? Or 388 or something. Oh, okay, so almost 400 pages. And then you're building this whole world and then also having this major conflict going on. But there's also like all these tiny subplots like Carolyn's trying to um, enact revenge. And then you have Irwin, who's like this detective guy that's like trying to figure out what the hell happened because that detective was murdered. And then it's just like yeah. all these different things happening. And then you have Steve doing what he's doing, trying to figure out how to save the tiger. <laughs> like, there's just so many different things. And then David's just out there murdering everybody. I don't know. Were there any like yeah. flashbacks to when they first got there? Or when they were younger. Yeah, very like minimal. There was very minimal of that. But I think it was more to show like I I I'm done. I don't even know. <laughs> and so much of that was saved to the end though. Like so much of it was wow. saved for the for the end that once you got to the end, the end was so drug out and so long when he's explaining oh. everything to Carolyn because she resurrects the father because she was the one that killed him. And she rather she's essentially she's his successor. Yeah. And she, okay. he, he thought David would be his successor. And she the father, he's not God. He's like some sort of otherworldly protector of the humans or uh -huh. like something in that vein, maybe a step below or something. But he chose David as his successor, but he can also all you know predict different futures and stuff because he's outside uh -huh. of his category. He can do whatever. He can study whatever category. Yeah. Um, so he well it is it is God. God. It is a sort of God because it says here oh. it's, the only trouble is that in the war to make a new God, she's forgotten to protect the things that make her human. So the, the, essentially he is a God and he's uh -huh. re retiring. Oh okay. Yeah I don't I just remember one part where he's like I'm not God. Mm -hmm. He's just a god. What are you? I, I, think he, I think that he meant. Was that towards the end that he says that? Yeah. I think that he says that because now she's God or whatever. A oh, god. Okay. Oh, I'm just stupid then. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, like he can predict the future and and every alternate future that he looked at. Um, the quote at the end that it basically wraps up the story and you kind of understand it a little more is um, he says that in every future he had David fight the monster and in every future David lost. So he decided to give the monster a try. So mm -hmm. Carolyn was the monster, monster. that he decided oh. to make his successor. That was kind of cool, but I'm just, I don't know. It was. It was. The stuff with the humans, I don't know. It didn't really fit that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Marcy. What do you think? What would you rate it? Um, I don't think I'm going to rate this one. I just, yeah. I, I don't. I can't not rate a book. If I finish it, I have to rate it. I don't know why. And I'm like that too. But you know what? This one, and I read another one, Jimmy the Freak, this month that I have not rated. Um. Or you know what's another book I didn't read? Uh, I didn't rate was um oh man what's the the one with the real story of the girl that was tortured in the basement? The girl next door. Yes, I didn't rate that one, but I didn't rate it because I just didn't feel right rating it. Like I love the storyline and everything, but because of the basis of the story, I didn't rate it. But was it fiction that was based on a real event, or was it yeah. like a oh, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Well, with Jack, with Jack Ketchum, the, uh, the girl next door. Like yeah. His stories are extremely gory, like beyond gory. Oh. All of them. Yeah. But in this situation, I don't know what to rate it because maybe I'll just give it a one star. I don't know. Or maybe a two, like rain. I don't know. No. I don't know. I don't want to give it a one because I don't think it's terrible. And I, I can see, you know, I did finish it. So yeah. there was some, you know, intrigue there. And like, I did like some of the characters. I just... Yeah, Didn't I think I would give it a two. The way what happened when we got to the end, I was just like, "Can I just finish it?" Yeah, yeah, I think I would give it a two because I like how it ended with the explanation, like how you just said. But I just, I, I, it was. I, I don't know. See, this person knows more than I do. <laughs> that the author is definitely not a fan of religion, but Steve's journey away from the criminal acts by becoming a Buddhist did not work for him either. I think this is the author saying that humans are not perfect. And when they don't have religion as an excuse for the evil, they have to take responsibility for their actions. Hmm. Interesting. I, the, the I did. Did. Smart people read it. Cause I was like, I just feel really dumb and I don't know what I think. <laughs> yeah. I think it's, uh, I could definitely see it being like an allegory for religion and, Oh yeah, possibly mm -hmm. Christianity specifically. Yeah, um, and, and it's funny because I'm Christian, Christian and I don't see that. You know, like I don't. Yeah, I don't well, know. I guess I just mean in the structure of there being right. like a father and his disciples, almost the his twelve leaders. disciples, the twelve age. Oh, okay. man, I didn't even <laughs> think oh. of that at all. Mm -hmm. I just yeah. thought about that. Yeah, it definitely I mean, just in the structure of it. I mean, that's just uh, having read just a little of it, right? But I, I could see that. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it was just confusing. <laughs> I don't know. What I, has been what has been y'all's favorite stacks of strange book this year? I love Bunny. <laughs> I'm still thinking about Bunny. Yeah, does Bunny count? Because it was pre Stacks of Strange, no, but it was the beginning of Stacks. It was, it was, it was, it was, yeah, it was the first one. I think that was it. Then I read Bunny last year, but I did love Bunny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm thinking of ending things, probably. Yeah. But I had read it a couple. You know, I'd read it earlier in the year, so. As far as one that I read, like at the time with you guys, maybe, maybe the House in the Dark of the Woods, mm -hmm. which is strange for me because I gave it a two at the time. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Follow Me to Ground was good too. Yeah, I like that one. It had, you know, it was definitely. They're all weird. That was a <laughs> fun like, conversation. I like that. <laughs> yeah, they definitely sparked some fun conversations. But probably I'm thinking of ending things. Yeah, uh, I yeah. Think we all liked that one the best. So yeah, that's my favorite. That was too. a good conversation too. We had a really good yeah, laugh for that one. I yeah. um, I am really excited for our 2021 picks that we have so far. Me too. Yeah. Um, and that we've been chatting about. Yeah. And yeah. I'm really excited. And and I think we can uh, maybe we'll try to push it a little more and mm -hmm. For know, sure. we'll grow a little bit and have more I people agree. come and read with us. Yeah. I it, agree. It'll be a lot of fun. Discord group. So whoever's watching this. Follow us on Discord. <laughs> Join yeah. it. Yeah, there's a Discord. I linked it in the description. So, yes. you guys want to check out the Discord? Follow us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Our picks for January, February, and March are already up. Um, so you can plan. You can make your library reservations. Mm -hmm. You can do your pre-orders because we do have a new release for February and March, right? I am so, so excited yeah. for February. Oh my gosh. I have an e arc of that and I'm dying to ribbon. Oh, I have an e arc of the Echo Wife, which we're reading in March. And I actually started reading it in like November 
or even October. I got it really early and I got like 10% in and it was, I, I was enjoying it, but I was like, I want to wait until closer to publication date to read this. So yeah. I put it aside and I, I usually try to read something the month before, but now I'll just wait and read it in March with you guys. Right. Um, but I do have an e-arc of that. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for Lakewood, which by the way, uh, if you don't know and you're watching, Lakewood is $1.99 on Kindle right now. Mm -hmm. And it's available yes, on I got Scribd. it. And available on Scribd. So that's what we're reading. Audio on there. Um, and I'm, I'm excited. It sounds super weird. Yeah, it does. So, yeah. That's all we got. Did anyone get the whole fun part? Oh. No Benunga Not sister. Now Benunga. <laughs> I don't even know. Benunga. Sister was the sun. Yeah, nothing. Did she the sun or did she make Steve the sun? I thought she made Steve the sun. No, she made David the son. Remember, after she kills him, she, there, David is like, let him down, let him. Or Steve is like, let him down, let him down. What are you doing? And she's like, nope. And she makes him the son. Oh, dang. I was way off. I thought it was Steve. <laughs> what did I think it was Steve? Oh. Because Steve is there with her when all of this is happening. I was probably zoning out at that part. I was probably yeah. like, I'm just done. Yeah. I don't I care. See. I don't care. I was there like, are two I days. Know. There are two days left in the year. We've lost <laughs> the desire to care. It was his punishment. He could just burn. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I was <laughs> I just lost all care in the world. I yeah. was, you know, some of it I would start to really get into, like when Steve was trying to um like take Nagasaki to the vet and stuff, which it actually did probably could have just been left out. It really didn't need to be like a huge part. But I was like, oh, yeah. this is getting really good. <laughs> and after that, I was just like, ah. Yeah. Taking the we like went to the Oval Office and the what? president. Oh, yeah. You missed, you missed the great government scheme there. The I probably would have really hated that. <laughs> I would have rather it just stayed. And then but, gave the head to Margaret, you know, the, the head chick. <laughs> so she had the president's head. Well, why not? Yeah. Well, it sounds like Crystal and I missed quite the book. <laughs> no, you didn't. Um, Sorry, I'm like breaking <laughs> up over here. My Wi Fi. Oh, you're okay. Oh, you're fine. fine. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's weird, Crystal, because sometimes like you'll be a little pixelated mm -hmm. and it'll look like you have no mouth. And it reminds me of the terrifying Twilight Zone movie. Do you remember that scene in the Twilight Zone movie with the girl with no mouth and it scared me? I don't think and I looked yeah. over a few times and I'm like, Crystal. I'm oh mouth. damn. <laughs> that that so normal, oh, sorry but guys. Tried. A couple of times and I'm like Twilight Zone. <laughs> Am I the only one seeing this? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, the Twilight Zone movie scared me. I should not have watched that as a kid. I was too young to be watching that. <laughs> no. That's too bad. I love Twilight Zone. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't think we could discuss this book any more no. I mean, it wouldn't make any sense whatever i said it already it probably no. like what the hell yeah <laughs> do you I feel mean, like you guys missed out yeah. <laughs> at all uh no i don't um no. i i appreciate I hearing your all's thoughts on it though and knowing kind of where it went from there um mm -hmm. i think i'm just still really baffled uh at how highly rated it is um, Me too. i mean it has like three hundred and forty thousand ratings people like love, love ratings or something and it sits at like a 4.0 so yeah it's, it's it's very loved but yeah i was super surprised when i read those reviews i was like wait did i just read the same book and i honestly thought that you guys were gonna love it so when i really? when, the, when the first person was like oh i'm gonna dnf it i'm like thank you Thank you. I'd like to point out that it's always me in the group chat who's like, 
y'all not liking this or is it? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is this always weird. This like, terrible. <laughs> I'm always like, um, so I'm like 25% in, just gauging what we're feeling in the group chat. <laughs> and like, I'm like, okay, well, good to know. Or like, no, this is really weird. Yeah, that makes me feel better. But I, all, I feel like it's always me that's like the 15th of the month in the group chat. Like, yes. <laughs> so, hey guys. What are you all thinking about? Going? Going? Going on. <laughs> yeah. It was it was a thing that happened. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't the last, um in the house of the dark of the woods was real effing weird. Yeah. But it was short, it was easy to get through, and I was confused and even confused a lot at the mm -hmm. end about certain things, but I was really intrigued to keep going. And I think and that's it was a difference. Yeah. It was more put together and it had a little bit more flavor. I think that the library was just bland. It was missing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it was all how, I mean, because in that book even, I mean, and, and it's kind of apples and oranges. They're very different types of books and writing styles. Um, but in that one, you're just kind of thrown in. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you at least get some backstory. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're following this one character and like one kind of scene. Yeah. With uh, Mount Char, it's like everything's so fragmented. You're just getting um, yes. so many different stories and then they don't really come together until like the very end. So then you're just like, at that point, I'm just like, I don't, I don't, you're like, really oh, care, yeah, I don't care about like most of these storylines. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't enough that was, I was like, okay, well, I want to see what's going on with this character. Like, what's right. going on? I, I, I kind of already figured. I was like, Carol Pry was the one that killed father. You know, he's acting all weird. <laughs> so, like, it didn't blow my mind when they were like, oh, she resurrected him because she killed him. And I was like, oh, I, you know, I kind of, yeah. kind of figured that. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it just feels, I don't know. I, I I just, I watched so many reviews where people were just like going on about how much they loved it. And I'm like, I don't, I don't, I, I would never recommend this to someone. I would feel so uncomfortable recommending it because I feel like it's for just a very specific set of people. Yeah. yeah. And I read yeah. fantasy too. So it's not like anything outside of the realm of reality is going to be like too much for me. Uh-huh. It's no, I love like things that aren't based in reality. As much as I read contemporary, I also like things that are not real. So yeah. it's definitely not that. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Well. It was a thing. Yeah. I'll probably give it two stars. That's probably what I'll end up doing. I'm glad we read it, though, because it's been sitting on my shelves forever. And I kept looking at that cover. I was like, mm, I want to read you. Yeah. So I'm I don't glad know, glad we know what I was expecting. Like I, when I heard people talk about it, they just talked about how like brutal and weird it was. And then like, I don't know, it just like something, something grabbed my attention there. Yeah. I don't know what it was, but then I started reading and I was like, this is not my type of story. I don't think. Yeah. 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 Cool beans. But you know, we'll have some better ones coming. Dude, I'm yeah. Fresh new year, fresh oh. new books. Yeah. Very yeah. excited. It's going to be so fun. I can't wait. Me too. Oh. Yeah. I think that's about it. You guys got anything going on on your channels? <laughs> Me too. Marcy, you do too. You've been, you're filming your end of the year. Nada. I just filmed today. I haven't, I think I haven't uploaded for like two weeks, but I just filmed today and all of my bests of 2020, it, they're coming, they're coming. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, I don't have nothing, nothing big going on. Right. Yeah. I, I was just I telling you guys. Tomorrow. I should have something up tomorrow. Yay. I should have a January TBR up tomorrow. I'm going to have a couple, well, I did Vlogmas, so I did 24 <laughs> videos. You did years. so good. I am so proud of the lot. Thank you, Marcy. That was so good. I've taken a break. 
And then yeah. I'll have all my end of the year content slash end of the month content will be daily for like a week. And then I'll go back to my normal thing. So starting tomorrow, I should have like a video a day for a couple of days. Um, just end of the year stuff. What about you, I Chris? Love those. I have nothing going on. I, I'm taking a little bit of like a holiday break. You, <laughs> you know, I'm just like not motivated to sit down and film. Like it's so much easier to just pick up Instagram and like talk on there than like film and edit. Yeah. So like, I'm just taking a little bit of a, like a hiatus for now. So no, for sure. there'll be I in content, know. but in 2021. <laughs> that has been so far away. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm like, I love doing lives because I can just jump on here, do it and be done. And be done yeah. with like so, taking I didn't time to film and edit. Yet. I'm like, no, nope, we're just gonna hair. pretend like 2020 didn't happen. We're just gonna yeah. start for 2021. I'll probably have a January TBR tomorrow. Maybe I'll wrap up the rest of the books from the rest of the year at some point. But well, I'm gonna tag y'all. I'm doing a tag video that I'm probably gonna post the first week of January. Ooh, but I'm gonna okay. tag all of y'all so y'all have some content. Ooh, <laughs> Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be fun. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. I'm well, it was so good to hang with you girls. It was yes, fun. Here. always fun. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, everyone in the chat as of course, well. Yes. yes thank, thank you, you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.